I was just reflecting that actually, you know, I'm a CEO, but all those things that you're talking about affect me as much as anybody else, wherever you happen to be in your career. So, so we, we do need to sort of do, do some more things to actually try and not have to have these conversations so that it's mainstreamed and that we don't need to then have an all-female panel talking about these things. So we have a few minutes. So would anyone like to ask any questions or make some comments? Thank you very much, first of all, for sharing your experiences. It's been a really interesting session. I was just wondering, I'd like to ask you all if there's one piece of good practice you've experienced in the past around diversity inclusion that the rest of the industry would benefit from adopting in the future? We've introduced the Women's Returners Programme in Highways England. Um, we're in our second uh, cohort now of women of uh, the Women's Returners Programme. I think that's um, been absolutely fantastic. Um, introducing women who've been on long career breaks. It's now extended to, um, to it's not gender specific now as it happens. It started as the Women's Returners Programme. It's now for anybody who's been on an extended career break. And I think that's fantastic. That's really sort of adding some real welly to bringing people back who've had um, long breaks in their career it can be really challenging and daunting coming back into the workplace if you've taken you know, five years out for childcare or if you're caring for an elderly relative, for example, or you've had ill health. And to really get that sort of um, programme support over a period of time with a, a assistance in a new job, it, it's really made a difference. And we've brought some really fantastic people into the company who probably wouldn't have come back and joined us um, if we hadn't have done it that way. So I think that's, been, that's something I think lots of organisations could, uh, could take forward. That was very inspirational and very nice insight to um, your careers and what you've uh, experienced. Um, just introducing myself, I am a site engineer um, and I'm also a graduate site engineer. Um, from my experiences, um, when you're a graduate and site-based and you're the only girl on site and you have very seniors, you're not treated like a princess or anything. You just get pushed into the deep waters and just like let you to swim it. Um, but from my experience, when you're out on site and you have very elderly labor of men, um, they have very old traditional mind thinking, they call you a receptionist, I'm not going to listen to you, you know, who are you to tell me what to do? And when you're in charge, and you're, when you're just a graduate out of uni, you do feel very personally, you take it. I have cried um, a few times. Um, so from my experience, I think for a change to happen, is people's mindset towards females got to change? Because they feel, I've also had people say, you should be cooking and cleaning and not telling me what to do. Um, I've had very, very bad experiences. Um, but, and two years in, I'm still facing issues like that. And I just felt that even if I complain, whatever, it's not gonna make a huge change until the, the men themselves have changed their mindset towards females just generally. Um, and for that, I think it will take some time. But, and, I don't know what your opinions on that. How, what do you think? How can we improve that? I gave a talk at the HS2 college around um, tolerating behaviours and you tolerate the behaviour that you walk past. It's going to take us a long, long time to change a lot of these mindsets. And I think it is going to be difficult and it is going to be hard. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to happen quickly. But I would say, don't ever tolerate anyone behaving towards you negatively. Don't ever stop raising it. Don't ever stop complaining. Don't ever stop saying this is acceptable because it will never be. And, and I think it's, it's really bad that you've had some of those negative experiences, but you're not alone. That's how, we've all experienced those kind of those things in the workplace and on site. And I think you have a support network. There are many other women that are in the same, in the same, same um, sort of position that you are. If you reach out, you can make those connections, but don't ever tolerate and don't ever stop complaining. Keep complaining. <laughs> you've said that men and women are different and they've got different traits. Um, you've talked about some of the negative ones that can impact in the workplace. What are some of the positive traits that women have that can add value? I think women bring some of the same skill sets as men. Absolutely they do. But sometimes the things that sometimes women are better at is sometimes listening and listening to the, the words that are unsaid because sometimes people speak, um, but they don't tell the whole story. And so some of those, some, some, sometimes those empathy skills, those listening skills help to build the answers that, um, and solutions going forward. And it's not unique to, it is not unique to women. I fully accept that. But 
women potentially listen differently. If you want to come back and have a slightly more informal discussion, um, at 12.40 we've got um, Celebrating Women in Transportation drinks reception. So please come back and have a chat because sometimes it is a bit daunting in this sort of, you know, form, formulaic sort of setting. So come back and share some of the things and, and get involved. If you care about these sort of issues and you want to make a difference, and it doesn't matter about gender, it's actually around diversity and inclusion for everybody, please sign up, please get involved with CHT and help us make a real difference because we need to do that and we need to make this step change. So please, you know, the more that we have involved with this, the more we can make a difference. But I just want to uh, finish by thanking uh, the speakers and just to say to Louise, to Jody, to Nicola, to Mel, um, hugely inspiring. It's also really sort of, you know, it is, we all feel vulnerable when we're stood up here sharing our things. So thank you very much. And thank you to the questions and the comments, because actually it's quite brave to air some of these things as well. So such an inspiring panel. And thank you very much. And thank you to all of you. And please come back at 12.40 and please join us and let's make a difference. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>